Hello, and good day to everybody. This is the full walkthrough for Saturn, Hybrid Piano by Sample Factory. My name is Brittany, and I'm excited to show you everything you need to know about this amazing instrument. With a unique signal flow that combines piano, synths, and a variety of carefully tuned FX, Saturn Hybrid Piano becomes a highly versatile tool. This instrument allows you to create and layer so many different sounds with a quirky twist. You can create beautiful and unique pads, colorful bass, creative rhythmic patterns, and recognizable leads, and, using our mod function, create movement within your production. We strongly believe in simplicity and minimalism as a building block of creativity. Saturn Hybrid Piano is built with this idea in mind. The user interface of the Saturn Hybrid Piano is divided into seven different sections. These are layers, LFO, Sequencer, Effects Section, Mod, Master, and Shape. The layers consist of three parts. The first part allows us to enable and control the pad samples. The second part of this section pertains to staccato articulation samples, while the third part is reserved for the reversed piano samples. The LFO enables us to activate one or any combination of six different oscillator destinations and manipulate their parameters. The sequencer is similar by design to the LFO, allowing us to select parameters controlled by the sequencer and modify their corresponding values. In the central part of the user interface, we find the effects. It consists of four modules where we can load any of the 10 available effects. Turning on the mod function lets us simultaneously control multiple predefined parameters of linked effects. The master contains four additional effects at the end of the signal flow, along with their respective settings. On the right side of the user interface, we have the shape section. Like the layers, this part of the instrument is composed of three elements. Dynamics, shape, an equalizer with corresponding filters. In the following examples, we will demonstrate the capabilities and versatility of the Saturn Hybrid Piano. The layers combines piano sounds with pads, staccato, and reversed piano samples. Within the first part of the layer section, we can load and control pad samples. To activate this group of samples, simply click on the button next to the pad's name. Clicking on the pad's name opens a window with a list offering a choice from 24 different pad samples. There is also a low-pass filter in mix control, allowing us to establish the balance between the pad samples and the piano. Additionally, we have access to an ADSR envelope that allows us to further customize the pad sound by shaping its characteristics. Within the second part of the layers, we can activate staccato samples. 
Furthermore, we can utilize the HDS envelope to shape staccato sounds. The last part of this section is reserved for reverse piano samples. We can activate them by clicking the reverse button. The length control determines when the reverse samples will appear in time. With the mix control, we can establish the balance between the volume of the reverse samples and the piano. Next in the signal flow comes LFO. Within this section, we can utilize six LFO destinations to create the desired sound. We activate them by clicking the button next to the destination name. The LFO destinations can be activated individually or in any combination that suits the user's needs. The available destinations include volume, pan, pitch, low pass, high pass, and band pass filter. Clicking on the destination name displays the corresponding settings. Each destination has four waveform shapes to choose from. Square, Sine, Sawtooth, or Triangle. The phase parameter determines the starting position within one cycle of the oscillation from which the LFO will begin modulating the signal. The width parameter is applicable only when the square waveform is in use, and it determines the pulse width. The freak parameter controls the frequency of modulation. The fade parameter attenuates the modulation effect, so the full potential of the effect is achieved after a time determined by this parameter. Lastly, a mix slider is available that enables us to adjust the balance between the modulated and dry signal. The sequencer allows us to create rhythmic or melodic sequences for six independent parameters. Like the LFO, we can manipulate the sound's volume, panning, pitch, low pass, high pass, and band pass filter. To activate the sequencer, we simply need to click the button next to the parameter name. Clicking on the parameter's name opens a window displaying the corresponding settings. Within the sequencer settings, we can change the number of steps and the speed in the form of a musical value directly linked to the project's tempo, draw the sequence pattern, and adjust the balance between the modulated and dry signal. The number of sequence steps can range from 1 to 16. The frequency of sequence changes ranges from half note to 30 second note.
The central section of the sequencer is dedicated to the step editor, which allows us to freely draw the desired sequence pattern and modify the rhythm of parameter changes. Lastly, on the right side of the settings window, we can use a mix control to change the balance between the modulated and dry signal. As it is possible to combine the number of active sequencers freely, this section offers us unlimited possibilities for sound manipulation. Within the central portion of the user interface, we encounter the Effects section. It consists of four modules where we can load one of the ten available effects. We open a drop-down menu with the effects by clicking on the arrow next to the effect name. To activate the effect, we simply press the button located on the left side of the effect name. Within each module, there is a vertical slider that allows us to control predefined effect parameters. When it comes to filters, we can adjust the cutoff frequency using the slider. In the case of distortion effects, we can control the level or intensity of distortion. For lo-fi effect, we can manipulate the number of bits in the reproduced signal. When working with Equalizer, the slider allows us to boost the high frequencies. As for time-based and modulation effects, we can adjust the balance between the affected and dry signals. In the case of delay and reverb effects, we have two control modes. We activate the pre-fader mode by clicking on the sound wave icon in the bottom of the module. When the icon is active, the slider adjusts the send level to the effect instead of controlling the balance between the affected and unaffected signal. Access the settings for each effect, we simply click on the gear icon positioned in the bottom left corner of the respective module. To navigate between effects seamlessly, we can use the numbered buttons 1, 2, 3, or 4. By pressing these buttons, we can switch between effects without entering and exiting each settings window individually. With the help of the vertical sliders, we can quickly establish the desired balance between the effects. Saturn Hybrid Piano allows us to manipulate multiple predefined parameters of different effects using a single macro control. To activate this option, Click the Mod button on the right, above the Effects section, and then link the effects we want to control. To link the effects, we simply click on the Chain Link icon located in the bottom right corner of each module. In this example, we connected the Chorus, Delay, and Reverb effects. By dragging the horizontal slider to the right, we gradually blend the linked effects with the dry signal, effectively adding their impact to the overall sound. The horizontal arrow, positioned on the right side of the mod slider, signifies that the effects are connected in series. 
With the series connection active, the course effect is applied to the piano signal first. Then, the course signal passes into the delay module. Finally, the affected and delayed signal continues into the reverb module. By clicking the button with the arrow, its state changes, and it now points upwards, indicating that a parallel connection between the effects is active. In this scenario, each effect is added separately to the dry signal, resulting in three distinct effects that are noticeable in the background. The amount of each effect is now controlled using the vertical slider. Located in the top left corner above the effects, the master panel can be opened by clicking the button. The master consists of four effects with their corresponding controls. These are the compressor, tape, amplifier, and limiter. The compressor offers standard controls such as setting the signal threshold above which the compressor starts affecting the signal, changing the compression ratio, and manipulating the attack and release times. The tape includes a warmth knob that controls the frequency response of the effect and a gain knob that allows us to determine the input signal level directly affecting the amount of saturation, distortion, and compression characteristic of tape machines. Lastly, there's the HF roll-off parameter, which determines the cutoff frequency of the high frequency part of the signal. The amplifier emulates a famous British combo tube amplifier and provides tone, gain, and volume control. At the end of the instrument signal chain, there is a dynamic range limiter. The limiter controls the input signal gain the maximum output level, and the release time. In addition to the specific adjustments for each of these effects, a slider is available for further adjusting the output levels of these processors. The last but not least is the shape. Similar to the layers from the beginning of the video, this section is divided into three parts, dynamics, shape, and the equalizer. The dynamics part consists of a single knob that allows us to limit the piano's dynamic range. When set to its maximum value, the full dynamic range of the instrument is available. By rotating the knob counterclockwise, we reduce the piano's dynamic response. In the background, automatic volume compensation occurs, so we only decrease the dynamics and not the overall level of the piano. The shape part consists of two controls. The attack control adjusts the reaction time within the ADSR envelope of the piano while the curve knob changes its shape.
Below the shape part is a three-band equalizer with a low-pass and high-pass filter, which provides additional control over the instrument's frequency response. It's important to note that this equalizer is located before the final limiter from the master section, making it the penultimate processor in the instrument's architecture. The concluding part of the video is dedicated to the preset window. To access this window, we click the arrow next to the preset name. Saturn Hybrid Piano offers a vast selection of factory presets, totaling 160 options. They are categorized into seven groups and distributed across five pages. The final page is specifically designated for user presets. You have 40 available slots, so there's no need to overwrite the factory presets if you're enjoying using them. The process of saving presets is straightforward. Let's assume we want to save the current settings. We click the Save button and select the desired location to save the preset. Next, we assign a name to our preset. And confirm by clicking the Yes button. Thank you for joining me for this walkthrough. If you want more information or would like to hear audio demos, check out our product page in the other Saturn Hybrid Piano videos. Have a great day.